today I've got another unboxing video. I'm just gonna quickly show you the stack of boxes. There's some smaller boxes up here. Um, so I thought I would unwrap these with you. It's been a while since I've done one. I'll explain why there has been such an absence of these videos in a second, but let's get unboxing. So some of you actually asked why there hasn't been an unboxing video in a while, because I know for some of you, that's like some of your favorite videos to see from me. I had actually pre-filmed a video to upload during my vacation in Spain and I don't know what I was doing, but somehow I accidentally deleted that whole video from my hard drive. I'm sorry that that happened, and I feel really bad because I really wanted to show you guys some of the things that I got in my previous unboxing. Um, but I'm just gonna do the new stuff now. All right, so the first box in here is also the most colorful, Lush. I love the Lush boxes. They are the only boxes that I get that are actually fun and are like really fun prints and stuff. Everyone else uses plain, boring cardboard boxes. So I just love that little detail. Yeah, so this is actually Halloween things, not the Christmas stuff yet. So I don't know if this video is gonna go up before Halloween or just shortly after, in which case, if it is shortly after, a lot of these things are usually on sale right after Halloween or on the day of Halloween. Halloween um, at your Lush store, so that is actually kind of cool. <laughs> oh, this box already smells so good. It's a really light lavender color, and it has a little bit of glitter. Oh, this is a douche creme, so it's a shower cream. Um, it's the Lord of Misrule shower cream, and it's actually kind of a spicy scent, so the Lord of Misrule is kind of a spicy. Um, it's with black pepper and patchouli mm, and it smells really, actually it smells really nice. And then there's this in here. This looks really cute. This is like a little ghost. Oh, that smells really good too. I just love the Lush. Sometimes, you know, when you go in a Lush store, it can be a little bit overwhelming, but if you smell things individually, I just love the scent. So this one is Boo. So it's like a bath melt. Yeah, so this is ginger, a ginger scent, and it is a bath melt, so it, again, has a slightly oily texture, so when you put it in the bath, it's like almost like an oil bath. Um, this is like a giant bath bomb and it's huge like look at this and it looks like it has probably different scents it looks kind of like a pig on here actually <laughs> so this is called monster's ball so i guess this is supposed to be a monster it doesn't really look like a monster to me it looks more like a, a cute piggy or like a piggy bank doesn't that look like more like a piggy to you it smells like lime oil bergamot oil and olibanum oil and this is vegan this one will probably have different colors in it because i could i could see I can already see a little bit of a marbleized texture. Um, and then there's also a soap, a bar of soap in here. Oh, this smells, again, really nice. Fireside, so you can kind of see the different colors. It's supposed to look like a fire. The scent of spicy cloves and also cedar wood and vanilla. Kind of reminds me of some of the candles, like the sort of seasonal candles that are out at this time of year. And then the last thing in here is the Lord of Miss Rule uh, shower cream, so the shower gel. I personally don't really like this scent, the Lord of Miss Rule. I think this is sort of more like a masculine scent. It almost smells a little bit like men's cologne. So those are the things I got from Lush. Thank you so much to Lush Cosmetics, and um, I can't wait to try them out. And uh, some of the stuff is just so fun, like these bath, these bath bombs are just some of my favorite things from Lush. So thank you so much. I have this giant chai here. And I have almost like the whole thing of purple lipstick now on my mug. So next I have another package here, La Roche Posay, and this is called Cisaplast Ma. So les mains is hand, so Cisa Plus, something for the hands, I guess a hand cream. So it is a hand cream by La Roche Posay and it's supposed to be almost like a barrier against irritants. So it's, I guess this is a really rich and heavy duty hand cream. It is definitely a nice texture. It kind of feels a little bit like the Neutrogena, except I feel like the Neutrogena one sometimes feels a little bit too heavy. Like you put it on and, and your hands feel sticky for a while after. Oh my God, this feels really nice rich and creamy, but it absorbs, so your hands don't have that same sticky texture. Oh, I really like this. Thank you so much to La Roche-Posay. All right, next up, I have a package here. This is by MAC Cosmetics. So, Lip Tensity, I think those are still in store. Helmut Newton, um, which is a combination of, I think, photography and products. That is kind of interesting. So, here's the Helmut Newton. Now, this is kind of very different packaging. I've never seen any MAC stuff packaged like this. Um, there is the lipstick packaged like that, and then 
There's an attached card, like it's part of the packaging. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with this. I mean, I guess you could like cut it out here and then you could do a little frame of that or something that might be cute. Oh, this is a liquid lipstick. So this is the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Chateau M. Uh, and that is just a bright, bright red. So the Liptensity lipsticks are looking a little bit different because the casing at the top is supposed to be representative of the color within, which I guess makes it really easy for storage because then you can see right away um, which color you're grabbing. So this one is called Double Fudge. Looks quite different from the shape. Has, has a different scent also. Am I imagining that? It doesn't have that classic vanilla Mac scent. It's like a rich brown with a slightly purplish underbase, but just very, very rich brown. Mulling Spices. Wow. Just a gorgeous, deep crimson red for the holidays. I actually really like that name as well. It's very holiday. And the color does look like a really nice color payoff. So, so this is the Retro Matte Liquid Lip and it's in, yeah, the Chateau M. I die. This just looks like a beautiful blue toned red. This is so right up my alley because when I go for reds, I tend to go more for the cooler tones and this does look like a little bit more cool tone. Not super cool. And then there's also a Dazzle Shadow in here and this is called Can't Stop, Don't Stop. Color looks really neat, kind of a purple and pink duochrome. Like the base is purple, but then the duochrome is pink. This would look really cool on top of my purple lipstick. I'm wearing a lipstick by Urban Decay, actually. It's this one, the Pandemonium Mega Mad. Can you see the kind of duochrome coming out? Ooh, I actually really, really like that. So these are really cool. I mean, you can use them as toppers, but you can also use them um, on top of a black base because that will make the duochrome intensity really come out in these um, in this finish, the Dazzle Shadows. So those are always good to wear on top of a base. There's a luster lipstick in here and this is called Gold XIXI, Gold Shishi, I think. So it's bright, bright, bright yellow, but the thing is this is a luster, so it's not going to swatch like this. If it does, I'd be so surprised. More of a sheer yellow, which is always kind of like, I think kind of a bummer with these unusual shades that they decide to make them luster because usually when you put them on top of your lips that are already a little bit pigmented, these just look so odd. Like they should do these more as an amplified finish or more opaque finish, I think, these bright colors. And then this one is called Dew, a mauve, not a mauve, like a lavender, bluish lavender shade, actually like a periwinkle blue color. Here's that periwinkle blue. This is more what I was talking about. Like this looks more like an opaque, like it's a satin finish, so it's more opaque. I think they should do the yellow lipstick like that too, rather than the luster, but a uh, very, very unique color. I'm not really sure where I would wear this, but it is a very unique color and MAC is really known for you know, very unique, different colors. So it's kind of cool that they decided to come out with that. So that is it from MAC. Thank you so much, MAC Cosmetics. Okay, next up, I have another uh, box here. I've already opened the top. Christmas time. I'm getting so excited about Christmas, you guys. Like seriously. So Roger and Galet, it's a French perfume brand. And this is the Jean Jambre Rouge Intense. So it's the Red Ginger Intense. Ta-da! And they have this as a whole set. So they have um, like body lotion and uh, shower cream, I think. I've had the shower cream and I used it up and it was delicious. And this is the perfume. So this is the um, Eau de Parfum. Very nice coloring. I love this kind of trendy ombre um, perfume bottles that a lot of brands are doing these days. I know it's not the most like original anymore, but I personally really like it when that glass like goes different colors. I love saying Jean Jambre, Jean Jambre. It's like the funniest word. Anyhow, um, yeah, it just means ginger actually. So the main scent in here is obviously the ginger, which is why it's called red ginger. Um, but then there's also elegant, an elegant iris. Cedarwood, patchouli, and tolu. I don't know what tolu is to be honest. Yeah, I actually really like the scent. I don't know like for winter if I would really wear it because it is quite sort of, I don't know, the ginger gives it a very, um, not citrusy, but it gives it a fresh note. So it's almost like a fresh perfume, but then the slight woodsy note. Actually, yeah, I think I would wear this in the fall. I know in ginger is not really a fruit per se, but 
Um, it gives that sort of light citrusy, citrusy kind of fresh note. Then the base of the wood, like the woody notes kind of give it a little bit more depth. It's always a mystery because usually there's no return labels. So often I have no idea who it's from. And sometimes you'll get sent a box like that has no return label and it's from a brand that you never had contact with. So I'm like, how do you know me? Hmm? L'Occitane, oh, I love L'Occitane. So here is the, another perfume. This is the Alésienne. Here is the bottle though. It looks very like a high-end bottle. It kind of reminds me of the Mestior Cherie or something like that with that very square rectangular rectangular shaped bottle, kind of short and stout. It says, when the supreme elegance of a velvety rose encounters the mystery of an irresistible violet draped in spicy notes of saffron, absolutely floral with a captivating trail, this fragrance blends a natural extract of saffron from Provence, an infusion of rose centifolia, and a violet absolute from the region of Grasse. So this is a very, um, floral, very floral perfume. It definitely has that rose and that violet are very strong. It actually smells very intense here. So if you like sort of very intense, rich floral scents, then this might be something to try out. And then there's a little hand cream, which is the Joyeuse Fête hand cream. You can see that really cute print. I like these little, these little mini hand creams. These are so great. I always have one of these like in my handbag when I'm going traveling. So thank you so much, L'Occitane. All right, so opening up the next box. Okay, so in here I have some products by Knipe. There's some bath crystals. This one's called Wiesenkräuter. This is like meadow herbs or something. So I guess this is like herbal scented. The only thing that I think that what they should do is I know that when you buy little sashes like this from other brands, they'll have like a couple holes in them where you can smell it. So this one you can't smell it. So I don't really know. Rich cream oil peeling. And this is with Camille Cam and Argan. So like an oil peel. So yeah, I actually can feel that there's little gritty stuff in there. Another bath crystal. This is called Viel Glück. Glücksklee Sternfrucht, so it's with star fruit. Schaumpflege Lotion, so this is like a, I don't know, like a shave, is this a shaving cream? I think it's supposed to be like a skincare cream, like a body lotion, but in a mousse format. That's kind of neat. Ah! Oh fucking fuck. Okay. Um, this is why I'm not a <laughs> This is why I'm not a fan of new stuff. Like, look, did I just do that wrong? Or I guess I was supposed to put it in my hand, but no, this is not for me. This is just way too complicated and too messy because this will probably happen to me all the time. I literally have foam now all over myself. Um, so for me, this is just too newfangled. You know, whoever said that lotion needs to come in uh, freaking foam. I don't know. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it because this... This to me is just, no. And there's also a cream bath in here. Um, and this one's called Spürbar Sanft Baumwollmilch. So it's supposed to be like cotton scented or something. Oh my God, this seriously smells like cotton. I actually have some of the bubble baths by them and they make an amazing amount of bubbles. And they also have some really nice like holiday seasonal stuff. So I actually quite like this, but I don't know if I'll use up this entire thing. It takes me forever to use these up because this is enough for like a hundred baths or something. So that's that from Knipe. Thanks so much. Um, this is by NYX Cosmetics. Lip Lingerie, 12 new colors. Yeah, so they have, I think, come out with 12 new shades from the lip laundries, which are the nude liquid lipsticks that they have. Um, there are already some existing lip laundries and I think they came out with 12 new shades. Oh, look, it's Desi Perkins on the front. I didn't know that. Um, so I guess she's working with NYX. And, oh, this is kind of neat. Look, it says, so there's 12 new shades and like each color on the back is supposed to be the color of the shade. So this one is Honeymoon, Embellishment, that's really neat, like how they made this booklet, like supposed to be the color of lace detail. So we can actually compare and see if they do match up to that. <laughs> kind of close, I guess. So that's kind of like a darker color, but wow, that's actually really close to that color. So it does look like they came pretty close with that. Um, this is called embellishment. Here is embellishment. That's like a very trendy color, kind of that mauve, grayish mauve color. There's baby doll here. So yeah, the lip laundries, I think these are a really good 
budget alternatives to higher end lip lingeries and you know they're very good in their own right so here's another nice nude and I like how they have a really good shade range so there's even nudes in here for you know darker skinned ladies and thank you so much to NYX all right guys so that's actually it for this unboxing I really hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to give a thumbs up and leave your comment below letting me know which of these products you're most interested in most interested in and I will try to feature them in a tutorial or something like that in the future and I'll see you very soon bye